What's going on, everyone? It's Arena, um, and I'm back with another sort of designer spotlight video. I don't know why I said that so weird. I just did. I, I don't know. I'm just going with it. The last video was on styles that I really love. This one is going to be sort of on customizable patterns, because that's something that I have a serious soft spot for. Like, and I have a fashion sketchbook, a knitwear design workshop, and I think how to design your own jackets. Yeah. So I kind of like designing. It's fun. I don't really publish a lot. Um, I have three patterns up, but that's for a different video. In any case, you know, I love designing now. So that's a thing. Anyway, so onto the patterns or rather the designers that I want to spotlight right now. So first I think I'm going to go with Frankie Brown because he's more or less well known in the, uh, in the knitting community, at least on Tumblr, I've seen some of his patterns circulating. Um, and in my spinning guild, uh, some people have done one of his patterns, at least for like a giveaway type of thing or a gift goodie bag type of thing. His patterns are really cool. They're really weird and very niche. A lot of them have, he, he has a pattern for an advent calendar garland and all of the little pieces that go on it are individual patterns. He has alphabet appliques and plushies. He has toys for kids, really unique patterns for like patchwork blankets and things like that. Um, and there's just like a bunch of awesome random things and a lot of them are really good stash busting patterns too. My personal favorites, um, I've only done one of his patterns. I've only done the 10 stitch blanket, but um, I don't know if you can see the uh, pink and purple and blue blanket over there. Uh, that one was a 10, 10 stitch blanket. I don't know why I can't speak today. It's just a difficult thing. And I did another one for the evil olive, so that was awesome. You might have noticed the name of the pattern that I just talked about was 10 stitch blanket. How do you make a blanket from 10 stitches? Well, you basically go in a spiral and you just build it out and you pick up and knit two together like stitches as you go around. The pattern describes it a lot better than I can and a lot of people have their own like customized ways of doing it and stuff and it's just really cool to look at how people have done such creative things with it. My personal favorite is that when someone takes an ombre or a gradient yarn and does it, it's just so cool. But yeah, he has like a whole 10 stitch series. He has a regular 10 stitch blanket. Um, that's the one that I did two of. He has a scarf. He has a triangle, he has a twist, which is like a circle blanket 10 stitch, and it goes like that. I don't know how he does it. I gotta try that one. He has a wave, a 10 stitch wave, which is like, if you've ever been to San Francisco or the Bay Area and you know what the Muni logo looks like, uh, it's kind of that kind of thing. <laughs> he has a 10 stitch wrap, which is basically the same thing, but um, a shawl instead of a scarf. He also has a zigzag blanket, which is just like a bunch of right angles in 10 stitch strips, and they're just so cool. How, <laughs> like, his designing skill in just looking at the most simple things and going, I can make that into something really cool. That is what I love about his patterns, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this already, but they're also really good stash busting patterns. I did Liv's actually kind of a bit of a stash bust because I had a lot of white yarn left over. Um, the other designer I kind of want to spotlight on this is Daria Davenport. Her designs have helped me so much in my own designing adventures. Like, give me one second, let me show you something. So I don't know how many of you follow me on Tumblr, but I made this skirt this summer, and it's really flowy and it's really flouncy and cute and everything. Fun thing, um, I used one of her patterns to design this. Like, she is, she has patterns that are basically a gold mine for a designer. Like, her feel is just very DIY and it's really awesome. Some of her patterns are literally designed to be customized. She has like recipes for shells that are mix and match. Um, the one that I used for the skirt that I just showed you was uh, one of the five basic shawl shapes she sheets. The first one, is like there so there are two shell shaped cheat sheets that she has one is for knitting flat and the other one is in the round and she has within both of those um triangles squares circles hearts semicircles swirls and hexagons i use the hexagon pattern for that skirt and i want to make so many skirts like that i basically just took the multiple of stitches that she recommended to start with and built out from there Instead of like starting with nothing, I just built out from a certain number of stitches. I guess I'm a little bit of a designer too, so I kind of can understand that better in my head. But if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Oh yeah, the cheat sheets that I just mentioned are both free, so that's cool. 
Um, and then there's the fill in the blanks shawl design, which is like shawl shapes and stitch patterns put together so that you can design your own shawl just by mixing and matching. And you, it's really easy and it's really cool. Um, I haven't tried it myself, but I've seen really good reviews of it. She has a bunch of other, not necessarily customizable, but really cool and innovative designs, kind of like Frankie, but in a different way. She has a pouch that has strings of stranded yarn across the front of it instead of on the back, and she has beads across it, and she made it into an abacus. <laughs> she has an abacus pouch. It's just so cool. Um, and then she has a pattern that's called Bun and Bow, and um, I'll also be posting the links to the patterns that I mentioned in here um, in the description down there. So. so the Bun and Bow pattern is, if you know how to do a sock bun, and you do the kind where you start with the sock like as a tube on your hair and then roll all the way down, she has a pattern for a tube like that that has a tiny little bow on it so that at the base of your bun you have a tiny little bow. And it's really cute, and it's like an arm warmer too. And, um, she also has a bow pouch, which is super easy. She actually highly recommends it for new knitters that want something cute. And it's basically just three rectangles made into an armband of sorts that has a little pouch in it. It's really cute. Um, and then last, she also has, well not last, she has a bunch of other patterns, but she also has uh, an earring and key holder. That's the name of the pattern. It's basically framed lace that doesn't have like the glass protector on it. So you can like, you could probably starch it to make it a little bit sturdier, but you can just, like, put your earrings and stuff on it. It's just so cool. Like, that kind of stuff is like, why didn't I think of that? You know, it's just stuff like that that makes me really appreciate designers. In any case, uh, so those are two of my favorite customizable pattern makers. And, gosh, that's one of my goals for my designing adventures. I want to make things customizable. I want to make recipe books for knitting, essentially. <laughs> I want to make mix and match do this, do that. Um, I'm planning on doing another kind of spotlight on something I discovered called game knitting, but I'll get into that later. In any case, if you like this video, do the whole like, subscribe, comment, dealio, and I will catch you all later. Bye!